My name's Wendy Thompson. I'm a clinical academic dentist here in the northwest of England. And my research is about the care of people with toothache, and in particular with a focus on reducing antibiotic prescribing safely so that we can tackle antibiotic resistance. Antibiotics have been the cornerstone of modern medicine and they're life-saving drugs. And when people need antibiotics, they need them to work. So we need to make sure that we use antibiotics only when they really are necessary so that they will work when they're really needed. Antibiotic resistance has been described as a slow motion pandemic. Currently, over 700,000 people die each year from an infection that won't respond to antimicrobial drugs. That's over 2,000 people every single day, and that's set to increase. FDI World Dental Federation published a white paper last year about the essential role of the dental team in reducing antibiotic resistance. And it talks about three main strands of approach. It talks about preventing and controlling infections. And as dentists, that's important. Routine dental care is all about preventing pain and infection, stopping people getting problems in the first place. And that's a really important strand of tackling antibiotic resistance. It then talks about using antibiotics only when they're absolutely necessary. And that, another way of putting that is called antibiotic stewardship. And finally, it talks about the important role of raising awareness about antibiotic resistance and the importance of dental teams being part of the whole healthcare team in all delivering consistent messages that antibiotic resistance is really important and we all have a role in controlling it. There are studies that show that 80% of antibiotics prescribed by dentists, certainly in the UK and the US, are not necessary and that those patients could be treated with procedures instead. So we need to be doing everything we can to reduce the number of antibiotics. And that's not just about individual dentists making a change to, to their patterns of practice, but that's about the whole context, the way in which dentistry is provided in different countries to make sure that dentists are equipped in their surgeries to provide treatments rather than prescriptions. In dentistry being a business, we have the adage of the customer's always right, except in this case, the customer isn't always right. And so in terms of Dealing with patients who really want antibiotics, we've developed a complex intervention based on shared decision making. It provides dentists the nudge to ask patients, do they want antibiotics? And explaining that a procedure is actually the quickest and safest way of solving their pain. In terms of any negotiation, having the confidence to know and to stick to your bottom line is very important as well. And those are skills that we're not necessarily taught at dental schools. Antibiotic resistance is a problem for the future, but it's also a problem for the here and now. We live in a global world and infections pay no respect to borders. We're going to need to learn how to live with this into the future in just the same way that we're going to need to learn to live with COVID. World Dental Congress is a great opportunity for dentists around the world to learn from each other and to see how dentistry differs around the world. And that's where the magic comes, working at the interfaces between different countries, between different systems, World Dental Congress this year has a fabulous array of speakers and I'm so excited to hear what different people are going to tell us and to hear what the latest developments are from, from all across the globe.